short right now. Normally I sit right down, make my video the second I come in my shop, but I've been out here for a while cleaning up and hosing things down and clean, 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 clean. So I'm just going to get right to it, throw cup number 38, trim cup number 37, possibly put a couple handles on some cups and start my bisque fire. So let's just go ahead and get ready to rock and roll. a little better now. Squeeze it too tight. Okay, I used my sponge because I didn't see, I don't have my wooden tool and I wanted to press it against something other than my finger for a minute. Okay. That is cut number 38.
plastic. else to do. Well, you got to see the trim. What would you have done? so off center down at the bottom and I don't know wouldn't it make if you had it centered at the bottom I mean at the mouth like that down there is centered wouldn't it kind of like centering wouldn't wouldn't this just become centered if you kept your hand in one spot it would only cut off the parts that were off center See, but it still looks like it's off center. Have I just not? Okay, I'm gonna set it right there. <laughs> Am I just being dense? Don't answer that. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. jumps. I'm barely putting it down in there and it, it skips across there. I have no idea why it does that. See, look, look. Why is it doing that? But if I use the, if I use the other ones, the wire ones don't seem to do that. Here's the same version in a wire. And it, it doesn't seem to catch. Now i got to clean that up or else it will. But it just, I don't know, it just peels it. Less drag, maybe? So many trimming questions. I thought this was going to be a throw day, but I'm finding I have a lot of trimming questions. Alex posted a trimming video. Uh, Janice the Potter posted a trimming video. And um, ZH, ZH Potter posted a trimming video. On the February 1st cup, I posted the links to all the videos I'm going to keep watching over and over to try and catch it. Make sure I get it. But for right now, I am not getting it. Sorry, be lost. I will, though. I'm determined.
go with the tip. I think his name is Tony Tony Clinnell, and I saw he's the one that makes the really big pots, and you can buy DVDs by him. But I, I one time saw him make uh, coils. I, I don't know where I saw the video, but anyway, you have a coil like this. Is this how thick? I'm guessing. I should go get the cup. But he took it like this. What's gonna happen if I roll it like this? I'm gonna try it up here. Yeah. And he just rolled it and he put marks in it. But he did it in a different way. I have this neat little gadget that my husband had in his shop. You, you probably know that there's probably a technical name for it. I just don't know what it is. But I'm going to make it put texturing. I don't know how, how well you can see that. It's just real faint. I don't know well how well you can see the detail in this. But it's, it's, oh, it's just really neat. <laughs> Excited about that. Okay, I forgot that Mike the Greek's cup was, uh, was bigger than this cup. And I compared the handles, and I honestly like this handle better on the smaller cup. And this handle better, where's the marking, on Mike's cup. So that's how I'm going to attach them. I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay, so I'll show you when I'm done. Hopefully you're able to see this in the camera. When I go and edit, sometimes I realize, oh, I thought it was in the camera and it wasn't. But you can see. Shelf number one, which I'm going to fire. Shelf number two, some of them possibly on the right here, probably right, right there. And shelf number three, those are already bisque fired, and these right here are the ones that I'm going to throw in there. These these were made uh, along with the other cups that are up at the top. There. Okay, just fired up the kiln. It's actually started. Twelve hours from now, this will be done. We have cups number 12 through 28, I believe. And uh, yeah, so we're going up, we're up, we're up to cup number 28 being misfired. Well, that's it for day number 38. I was really excited about completing. I, I felt like I accomplished a lot tonight. Finished cup number 38, trim cup 37, put a couple handles on. Um, bisque fire, started a bisque fire from, I want to make sure I document this. Uh, Cups number 12 through 28 are in the kiln right now, and they are 12 hours from now. We should see some results. <sighs> Slow fire, so they don't, nothing goes pop, pop in there while it's firing. And that'll be it for today. I'm going to be glazing this weekend. In the spurts of time, we have a big family weekend, so I have some special time set aside to glaze. Well, I will make a separate video for that so you can see it, and we will see you tomorrow.